In this video, I'm going to give you a general overview of how to use templates in Premiere Pro to make your edits look cooler and to save you a ton of time. What's up, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eli with 8042. Justin Miller, thanks so much for subscribing, commenting and interacting with me in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. You were interested in Premiere Pro templates um, and templates in general. What's a general overview of how to get started with templates? What can they do for you? The three templates that I see most commonly used are logo animation templates, which is taking a standard logo and actually animating it. So being able to simply drag and drop your logo into a template and having it do a lot of cool things. The second is text animations and text presets and templates. This will allow you to import basic text into a template and it starts animating it. It could change the colors, add various effects and make your text look a lot more engaging on screen. The final template that I'm gonna walk you through is a video template. So this allows you to take footage or photos that you're working with, drag and drop them into the template and it's going to add transitions, it's gonna add effects, it's gonna add offsets and distortions and all kinds of things that if you don't understand Premiere Pro and you haven't spent years and years and years working in it, it's gonna save you all that time and immediately jump you to you know the top 10% of video editors. I've been editing videos for probably about 13 years and I didn't understand and get into templates until about year five or six. When I did, it completely blew my mind and honestly if I had understood what I'm about to share with you uh, in this video when I first started out I would be light years ahead of where I am today so Justin this one's for you man hopefully you enjoy if it does answer your questions go ahead and let me know in the comment sections below I would appreciate it, it took some good time making this one for you so let me know if you enjoyed it we're gonna start things off by looking at where you can find templates online. I'm gonna provide three sites that I recommend. All right, so the first way to get started by using video editing templates is to do your research on different sites. Now, a lot of YouTubers or people will try to hook you up with their affiliate link, yada, yada, yada. I'm not gonna do any of that in this video. I do advise you to do your own research, but a quick um, Google search will show you a few of the popular most popular places to get templates. Now there are free templates. There's also sites with paid templates. For a lot of my client work, um, I have used Motion Array. Um, as you can see, they're trusted by a lot of big organizations. They have a very easy way to create an account, come up to templates and look for Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects templates. And I do not believe you need to pay any money to just browse some of these templates. And as you can see, you can already see templates for Instagram stories or um, Facebook ads, for example. Uh, you can see, you know, templates for designing various logos, right? There's a broken glass logo reveal. Another site that you can check out is Envato Elements. Um, if you come to Envato Elements, you'll be able to come up and see video templates. You'll be able to look at After Effects templates, Premiere Pro templates, Final Cut. In this video, I'm going to be sticking to Premiere Pro um, and After Effects, whereas, you know, what I do most of my client work on and recommend people starting out to be able to work in Premiere Pro. So Envato Elements is a great site to check out. Another site is Storyblocks, storyblocks.com dash video you'll be able to see here that they have you know after effects templates premiere pro templates um apple motion templates etc so you can click on premiere pro templates here and you can start browsing they have slideshow um you know effects they have youtube subscribe icons they have lower third templates um, all kinds of templates now all three of these sites are paid subscriptions um, I do not have affiliate links for any of them. Uh, I do recommend Motion Array over the other ones. That's where, again, I've used most of my projects, but I do use Envato Elements and Storyblocks. There are also, um, let me search for free assets on Motion Array. There are free templates that you can use, okay? So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna work with some free templates in this video to give you guys a general overview um, of what you can do with templates. All right, so I've selected three templates, one of which is for um, stories uh, and video. So I'm going to show you guys how to use a template where you add video. Another template 
that I've selected is for text. So I'm going to show you how you can download a Premiere Pro template and create some cool text that you would have a hard time creating within Adobe Premiere Pro with out a lot of experience and then finally I'm going to show you how to use a logo template okay and now I'm not going to break these down individually step by step but I will show you very quickly the steps to take and how to do them so the first things first these are all free templates um, that you can download from motion array and all you need to do is select them the links will be in the bio and I'm going to click download all right so I'm going to download my jumpy logo to the downloads folder I'm going to download the Flickr light title to the, my downloads folder and I'm going to download the travel stories to my download folder. Okay. All right. So once these have downloaded, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is extract them. All right. So you're going to right click and press extract all files download um, and all presets for the most part download as zipped folders. So I'm going to right click and click extract on all of these. Um, and the flicker light transitions. Okay. All right. So once they're extracted, let's take a look at the logo first. So I'm going to double click that file. I've got fonts. I've got a folder for the driver. I've got the logo premiere pro folder. That's what we want to open up. Okay. And then I'm looking for the premiere pro file. You can see it here is the type. You can also see the little premiere pro logo if you're looking for it and you're just going to want to double click that. Okay. So that is preset is now going to immediately open up Premiere Pro because it downloaded as a Premiere Pro project. It's going to open up a new project and it's going to ask us if we want to convert the project and where we want to save it. For the sake of this video, I'm just saving this Premiere Pro um, file in the same place that it downloaded, but you can actually select a folder on your desktop or laptop, wherever you want. Okay. Now it's going to immediately open up and the first thing you want to do is zoom in and let's see what is going on here. Okay, so we have some different layers and we have some music that imported with the logo. And the first thing we want to do is just not get overwhelmed. Okay, there's a lot going on. But if we zoom up, we can see a color map. We can see the logo. We can see a title, it says here on this layer. Okay, so each layer has something different. And our job is to look first for the green nested sequences. Okay, that's where we want to go in. That's what anything that's green, we can double click and it will open up another layer. Okay, and here it shows us the logo that this template is working with. So we want to actually replace this with our logo. I'm going to come to my downloads folder. I'm going to find a logo that I want to replace it with. In this case, I'm going to be replacing it with the 8482 logo and I'm going to scale that down to about the same size as the previous logo. I'm going to drag it so that it covers the entire um, logo below it. I can even drag it a little past it and I'm just going to bring it down. Okay. So now I've replaced it um, with my logo. So I can delete this section and look at what happened. The whole logo got replaced. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this audio track and let's just watch. All right. So now I have created um, you know, a, a, a brand new template. All right. So I've been able to bring in this template and use it by simply going in and replacing my logo. Now, if I had wanted to come in and make all these crazy edits, it would have probably taken me hours, but with a template, I'm able to save time. And now I can create some cool, some cool stuff. Now this is a free template. It doesn't even look that cool to be honest. I mean, let's be honest. It's kind of, you wouldn't see it like, an awesome company putting out a logo that looks like this template. But this is the general idea of just going in, looking for the nested sequence, replacing your logo. And then, you know, I'm able to actually export this template if I want to. So that's an overview of working with logo templates. You're going to be looking for that nested sequence. You're going to double click it. Um, there might be more nested sequences. You're going to double click those. You're going to look for where to put your logo. You're going to put your logo there and see what happens. All right. And then you can use that template. You can export it. Um, or you can add it to a lot of your other projects and that's going to save you some time. All right. So I did the same thing and just opened up the text template. What I want you guys to see is the same thing. They're nested sequences. Um, and we can go ahead. I'm going to mute this audio track and I'm going to play them so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, this is just one example of what text templates would look like. 
All right, again, this would be very hard to, you know, add glow effects, add glitch effects, add light leaks. It looks like there's a lot going on in here. So if I double click one of these titles, all right, I can open it up. And again, it looks overwhelming. It looks like there's a lot going on, but there's really not. Let's simplify it. In the nested sequences, it says title pre-comp one, okay? We don't need to pay attention to these these other effects, that's all, you know, what's making the template cool. We just want to look at these nested sequences and open them up. So it says title pre comp one and it says title one. All right, I'm going to double click the title and I'm going to open it up and it says make a cool video. And it's going to say we're going to replace that with use templates or whatever text you want. Now I can also change the font so I can come up here and again I'm going to select, let's just select Bebas, all right? And then I can delete this and now I've created and added my own text so I can go ahead and delete that sequence and now look, it's completely changed the text. So I can delete this sequence. Now I can come back, I can replay this template. Now I'm able to see my text there, okay? Now I can do the same thing with the next one. I can come in, I can double click it, I can come into the nested sequence, I can double click that, and I can add my title in here. So I can, you know, say video editor, or really anything, whatever you guys wanna add, okay? And then I can change, you know, all of those. I can change the size. I can change the positioning. I can move the text around if I want to, put it over there. I can change anything I want to within the text, okay? I could change the color of the text, and then I can delete this, and then it will change, you know, my sequence there, all right? All right, the last thing we want to do is we want to open up our travel stories pack. Again, I'm looking for the Adobe Premiere Pro project. I'm going to double click that. It's going to immediately open up Premiere Pro and it's going to import another Premiere Pro template. And once it imports, you can see here that we have a theme going on, right? We have our nested sequences. This one looks like something I've never seen before. You actually can't even edit anything because all these tracks are locked. So we're going to want to come over to the, all these tracks. We're going to want to press unlock on all of them. Um, let's just go ahead and do that quickly. And then what you guys can see is we can go in and we can look, all right? It looks like there's adjustment layers over the text and over the sequences, okay? We can ho hover over the adjustment layer. We can make sure that we're toggled onto the effects control panel and we can see there's blurs added to this, there's offsets. So if we import footage um, into this nested sequence, you know, it's gonna be kind of transformed and, and delayed a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this nested sequence and you guys can see there's two nested sequences in here. There's text, okay, which is this Insta and there's your video or image placeholder. So I'm going to go ahead and double click the video image placeholder and this is where you would want to put your video. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to drag in a, a standalone image um, to make things easy. This is downloaded from unsplash.com. It's a royalty free image and I'm going to drag this, um, you know, across the video template. All right. You could add video footage in here. You could add anything you want and I'm going to come back and, you know, now I have the chance to go into the text and I can um, click on title one. And again, I can change this text. So I can say, um, let's just say number one. Okay. And then I can see how it changed uh, the text. Okay. Then I can delete the text and you can see that I was able to change the video and the text. So if I come back to the final edit now and I watch this, you know, we saw the layers, the adjustment layers, how they're changing the footage. And we can actually, let's just watch this whole thing. And we can see that, you know, now we've completed the first scene. All right. One thing that I do like to do and I do recommend is a lot of times the text is just not good in a lot of these templates. So I'll actually come in to the sequence and I'll hide it. So I'll come back and now I have this cool kind of offset video transformation and then it goes in the next sequence. Okay. So in the next sequence, the same thing, we'd want to open it up. We'd want to click in the video or image category, and then we can, let's add that. We can add this same image or you can add, you know, any footage again, you can make it different. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to just rotate it to show you 
the difference. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate it. Let's rotate it 180 degrees. All right, just to show you, you know, how the, the template is going to transform it. Again, I can change that text or I can just simply hide the text. And then I'm going to come back and let's watch this footage again. So it plays and then it rotates, right? And then it goes into the third sequence. So I would look at this entire template. I could go in, I could add my footage, I could change the text or I could remove the text. And then I would have a, you know, highly produced um, video that I could use from this preset. We covered a lot in this video, but by now you should be able to animate logos. You should be able to animate text. You should be able to take your standard footage and create really cool videos out of them. If this is the first time you're watching this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in learning all the creative skill sets that you need to earn a high income from home, 